Chargers, yes, for all the Jet fans, want to jump off a bridge because they don't have their starting quarterback yet. And the draft is around the corner, and the New York Jets haven't traded away any picks, which you should be happy because if they're not trading any picks, those picks are for them to use. But Aaron Rodgers is recruiting players. As Aaron Rodgers is recruiting Calais Campbell, it only says one thing. He wants to be a Jet. There are stories coming out from Aaron Rodgers' end because Aaron Rodgers supposedly the other day reached out to his agent and he said, Jets or nothing. So it's not the 49ers. I know the whole Trey Lance thing. There are rumors coming out that they're looking to trade Trey Lance because Brock Purdy seems to be the guy that they're going to move forward with. But I don't know if they're going to be able to move him before the draft, which is a week away. And what could they get back from Trey Lance? That's the question. The only person that can answer that question is Kyle Shanahan or John Lynch. So it's not going to be Tennessee. They're trading off Derrick Henry. They have no wide receivers. They lost some offensive linemen. Why would Aaron Rodgers go there? They're even worse than the Green Bay Packers. The only team that makes sense right now, especially Especially when they're not going to trade him in the NFC, is the Jets. All the Jet fans crying, What's going to happen? We don't have a quarterback. We're going to depend on Zach Wilson. Calm down, guys. He's heading to the Jets one way or another. The Packers' ultimatum right now is the draft. You're going to decide, Green Bay, if you actually want to at least get some draft fixes. For this year. Or you could just try to win the pettiness war on Aaron Rodgers. We held you hostage. You're not going where you want to go. Ha ha. And then screw your own franchise quarterback in Jordan Love. Aaron Rodgers says he only wants to go to the Jets, and it's the only one that's realistic because Tennessee they have some money but they don't have a lot of their top players left and possibly going to trade Derrick Henry they're possibly going to trade also safety Kevin Byard the Titans wide receivers I liked Traylon Burks out of the draft but he was injury prone last year he looked year, horrible and they have nothing else to trust the Packers have a steady guy with Christian Watson who was good once he returned from his injury and again I'm going to give Burks that same kind of chance but Watson actually showed it Burks didn't net them right now so the Packers are the better wide receivers than the Titans so why would he go there the 49ers their first pick in this draft third round come compensation pick. Is that what you think is going to leverage on to take on a trade like Aaron Rodgers? No. If the Packers are just going to be that petty and take it, well, that's their loss. But, but the Jets have offered them already a second and maybe two seconds. They're not giving up a first and that's what I think they're trying to wait for. The Jets, I've heard, they offered him next year's first round draft pick before he went on the Pat McAfee show. After he went on the Pat McAfee show and said his piece about the Green Bay Packers, that first round pick came right off the board. It affected the Green Bay Packers Packers. And you holding Aaron Roger ransom only tells me one thing. It tells me you're a stupid organization, one. And number two, you're only putting yourself in a position to fail here. It makes no sense on any way, shape, or form how this makes sense. They're going to lose so much value if they wait even further after the draft, too, because then you're banking on unknown picks. We know the Jets' picks are in the second round, back-to-back with the Browns, 12 and 13 in that round, 42 and 43 overall. You know you're going to get good value at the beginning of that second round area, which still gives you leeway to trade up if you want to. You could try to get a second round next year or a third round next year and try to accumulate more picks like you said you were going to do. If you wait longer, you're going to lower the value because Joe Douglas is very stubborn with his trades. We've seen it many times on both the buying and selling end of it. And I don't know if you want to mess with that even further if you're somebody like Brian Gutenkurs because guess what's going to happen? You're going to disgruntle another supposedly franchise quarterback in Jordan Love who's on the last year of his rookie contract. So good luck, Green Bay. In the turmoil, you've already put yourself through. They're treading water. And for anybody to think that the Jets have no chance of bringing in Aaron Rodgers after them sitting on this and waiting. He is a Jet. You can book it either before the draft or after the draft. He will be a New York Jet. The Jets are a really smart organization because they're not throwing away pieces of the future and they're not giving away draft picks, which we've seen them do over the past years. They're making a lot of sense as an organization on what they're doing. I just don't understand why anybody thinks that he is going anywhere else but the New York Jets. Why is it that everybody is crying about this on this whole Aaron Rodgers thing. I do believe that Aaron Rodgers sincerely wants to be a New York Jet. He loves the fact that Alan Lazard is there. He loves the fact that this team is ready to win now, and he has the weapons to do it. Plus, he's playing in a climate that is not as cold as the Green Bay Packers. I don't remember the last time it snowed in New York. There is no snow, so for all you fans out there crying about Aaron Rodgers, trust me, he will be a Jet. And for all the Jet fans to believe, being at number 13, the Jets aren't thinking about trading down and still getting the picks that they want. I think because they gave up a third round pick for Elijah Moore, getting a second round pick, it makes sense that they're using one of those second picks to send to Green Bay 